Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Masters! In the last one, we ended off kind of broad with an update that needed to be done. And now here we are a couple days later, download done and ready to get back into it. I'm actually... I actually do have a little thing I need to say before we start this game. Um, as you well know, in the last four episodes, thereabout, I had some issues with uh, the loading screens of different characters. I just want to say that if there are th things that don't add up in this game to, or when we log in to the past uh, four episodes, it's because uh, I actually redid the whole tutorial and such just to see if it was my recorder, or my mirroring program rather, which mirrors my uh, uh, tablet game onto my computer, or if it was the game itself, and it is, sadly, my recorder. <laughs> and it's good, because that means there's no, no flaw, like, it's both good and bad, because it means there's no flaw with the game itself. No, I did notice some things that I might have a pet peeve with, which I would get into as soon as we tap start, but the unfortunate thing with it being my mirror program is that I have to start making a special little animation that I have to clip and save in my library every time we are going to add new characters. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> basically. So um, with that just out of the way, I just needed to say it. Let's jump in, because the reason why I haven't jumped into the game is because I realized something in a couple of days in between here, that you get a good morning message from um, one random character and uh, it's um, 7 a.m. here and I am ready to start playing. It's her, it's the earliest ever recorded if you don't count like free in the night but that's the other way around as before I go to bed. I actually got up early to play this game for you guys so now let's see what they have to say. Let's just go into it. Into it we go. Who's gonna greet us? Oh, it's actually Vit. Uh, it's actually Whitney, who I just, I I just checked up on her. She is definitely from silver and gold. Um, I don't, and I think emerald, uh, crystal. There it was emerald is the later generation. It's gold, uh, silver, and uh, crystal. Crystal is like the combination, just like gold is for the red, green, and blue. Um. It's a, a matchup of all the games, basically, so you have a higher poten uh, potential of getting all the Pokemons in one game. It's kind of like a combination game that comes up later after the first release. Anywho... Morning! Oh, phew. I, should've, I shouldn't have stayed up all night. I sure am sleepy now. Aww. I actually like that Whitney is the one that actually talks to us because she was the last character we were to get in this um, game before we ended off last time, which is great. And then we can look around. It does seem like... Oh, and here is the logins. This is a special login for basically because it just launched, uh, I believe. And since it just launched, it has like a special bonus login where you get 200 gems every day. So as you can see, it's been a couple of days since last, as I mentioned before. Yes. And actually, it's been five days and we get an extra gem there. So you, we kind of um, go between uh, 100 gems and a book of some sort, which I still have to find out what actually is. Um, what that's all about. However, oh yeah, and then of course every time you open the game after like when when it uh, passes over to a new day in the in game, we uh, have a little priority list or basically look at this. There are special events, and there is actually a I don't know if it's something special, but we have to check that out because I haven't actually checked that out. <laughs> Because I wanted to be surprised by it. So this is between the 3rd of December, which was yesterday. And <laughs> guess when I'm recording this? Um, to the end of September, okay. So I'm guessing this is an extraordinary story event where you run around with blue. 
which is from the first generation, as I have kind of, uh, which I'm basically kind of gotten to with him. I don't know. Eh. Anywho, just to get the pet peeve out of the way, uh, we can just collect these items, because you can actually see all the items I've claimed thus far, because when you, um, when you start the game, uh, if you start the game within like the launch celebration period, you actually get an extra thousand gems, as you can see here. Oh, I like that you can I can actually poke something and you can see it. Like, see, there's the little circle on my screen right now, which is really great because that actually means I can point stuff out without needing a cruiser, a uh, mouse cruiser, a cru cursor, cursor, but <laughs> if anything. Um, which is great, but the only pet peeve I've gotten... Why does it continue? Oh, I didn't claim them. <laughs> I showed how to claim, but I didn't claim them. Derp. I could also just have claimed all. Never mind. Um, the only pet peeve I actually have with this game thus far, and I think it's a very weird practice because I haven't seen it in other games, it was something I mentioned in one of the other... Uh, previous episodes is if you go into your character here, you can see we have paid gems and non paid gems. And I didn't understand what that was. I was like, oh, maybe when you then buy something, they prefer to use your paid gems over your non paying gems to start with, or the vice versa. No, that's not what it's about. If we go. Oh, I, 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 um. I accidentally pressed on Whitney instead, because I'm going into a pet peeve, which I'm not happy about, because I don't like to trash on games, but it's an oddity where I'm going like, why? So maybe not a pet peeve, but more a why kind of thing. I traded some of a Moomoo milk for this to get here, like a Moomoo milk cell. You can have it if you want. We got a free gift! I don't mind! Thank you! <laughs> I'm so glad I made you heavy. <laughs> heavy! We got heavy as a milk tank. Nope. Um, we, she made us happy. Yes, she did. We got an extra... I don't actually still know what they are, but we will just have to wait and see. Well, if I come across any other good stuff, I might just give it up to you again. Aww. She's good then. She's a grinder. I like that. Okay. No. Okay. Her. Let's go to Trisha and let me, uh, or actually see what what I'm very um, on the fence about. Pet peeves, um, find very odd. Welcome. Here's the current products. Blah, 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 blah. If we go into sync pairs, here's the thing I don't like about this, because as you can see here, the blue ones, um, you can get a sync pair for three hundred gems or uh, ten for ten thousand. And during the launch special edition, you can get 10 for 3,000 gems. However, see down in the corner, they have to be paid. That means to get this special 5 star out of, uh, or guaranteed 5 star um, sync pair, you have to pay for, for them, which I think is an odd practice. I get why they are doing it, but there's other ways to do things like this, like just don't make gems harder to get or like other practices uh, like um, the best um, examples I have was both with Lilith's Life and uh, which is sadly no longer a game that can be played and um, Hogwarts Mystery is that there are advertisement videos you can watch and gain gems then just make the game gems a bit more scarce to get like Instead of saying, well, you can only get this offer if you pay for them. The same goes for the daily discount. It also is a paid gym. So that slightly annoys me in some way. Um, because I, I just find it as an odd practice. Um, because it, it kind of tells you that you do have to pay to get everything. And my collector's mind going like, oh, those cheapskates. Um... But um, I'm just gonna be with this game going like, well, 
because they chose to do it this way, I'm not going to pay anything for it. Because I have given money to Village Life when it existed and I have also used money on um, Hogwarts Mystery. But that was when I felt like it. This kind of feels like you you kind of forced to. And then I'm kind of like a child where you go like, No, I will not help you in this way. I will not. <laughs> so, um, no. This is just for collectibles that I believe you can get either way. So, in essence, it's not pay to win, but it's pay for perks. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm a little, uh, as you can hear, you guys, as you guys probably can hear, I'm a bit on the fence on this one. So I don't really know about that. However, enough of the sad parts. Yeah. The reason why I have not bought any sync pairs is um, also that since I said I will only use my earned gems, is that I'm just, um, oh, ba basically, wait. Is there any discount with the, between 10 on 1? I don't think there is a discount, is there? No, there's not. <laughs> there's no discount, so we could technically just get one single sync pair, and then I can see if the things I've tried to do with the recorder actually works. Hmm. We could try that, or we could just save up for a 3000 and then just get 10 in a row. Um, let's just see what does it have here. No, there's no there's no difference between there's no guarantee of anything here But this also Wait what you can also use your page gems on these ones, but you can do the other way around Those silly gooses those very silly gooses now actually I think I will go on with the story because I really want to go back into the world and instead of actually you can shortcut it instead of just going talking to the girls. You can click, of course, in the buttons below, go into the shop, explore, or the team. However, I kind of like interacting with the lassies. Welcome back. Feel free to check your current area information right here. I love them. Okay. Oh! There's something new here. So I'm glad I didn't open this in the in-between days. Because it's clear that there's more to it. Sync pair stories unlocked. Choose a sync pair story to go on an adventure and get to know your fellow teammates. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That means you get to know the characters a lot more. And since I haven't played all the Pokemon games, it also means that I will get to know some of the characters I have never met. For some sync pairs, leveling up can unlock special area info for evolving Pokemon. Oh, we can evolve Pokemon in this one! Okay, so we kind of can catch them all through <laughs> befriending all? It's a double challenge, you guys. We have to befriend everyone and catch everyone. <laughs> Run around with net catching friends. <laughs> However, evolution shards and evolution crystals are required. Well. At least for some Pokemon. Others is mostly levels. Complete this special Sync Pair story to evolve your Pokemon and make this Sync Pair even stronger. Oh, cool! So basically, we have. So, where's Blue Story? There was an event thingy with Blue Story, right? Just a second here. I'm just gonna. See here what the new thing actually unlocked. Oh, that's um. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Can't remember. Anyway, okay, so that's the the chapter that downloaded. All right. Oh yeah, Barry. That was his name. He was at the beach. Okay, I get it. I get it. As well as let's just check the sink pairs here. Oh. I'm actually kind of surprised that, again, that uh, Blue is not here, because it was a special event with him, wasn't there? Oh no. I, I kind of want to do the, the sync stories, the sync pair stories, but that's kind of my completionist mind, going like, now we have these characters, so let's get into it kind of thing. But I also kind of want to meet Barry. 
Huh. Hmm. Actually, I think I think we would do a sing pair story, and we would do it with the OG Brock because he's first in line, as we can see here, and he's one of the very first trainers I was introduced to as a kid, and I have still li this little n nostalgia kick to the bone about it. So let's start with Brock. A day with Brock. <laughs> a day with Brock. Hmm. I wonder what that's gonna be like. Watch out for the stone! <laughs> Run from volcano stones or whatever. Let's jump jump into Mount Moon or something. I don't know. Which is the 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 mountains next to Pewter City where Brock is a gym leader. By the way. <laughs> anyway. There's a good open space around here. Hmm. Ah. Hello, Ray. I'm just gonna say Ray from now on, even though it does say Meta but it's just a long way to go like, Meta Meta No, I'm just gonna go with Ray. It's fine. It's my nickname, after all, for most of my friends, anyway. It's either Raita or Ray. So, that's fine. Are you out shopping? No, just wandering around. I was just taking a stroll. I was just taking a stroll down the highway. Oh no, not the highway because that's dangerous. <laughs> no, um, let's see. Uh, which one would I probably? I would actually probably say no, just wandering around. <laughs> I would never say taking a stroll. It sounds too posh to me. <laughs> Even though it's not a posh sentence, it just sounds to me. Anyway, really? If that's the case. Could you help me out? Sure, what's up? I was looking for a good place here in town where I could train. Oh no, we're going to train with him, aren't we? <laughs> nice, let's go find one. What about the forest? Uh, that would probably not be good for a stone Pokemon. Oh, no. I would actually say nice. Let's go find one. I mean, I'm always debating in the sentence, like, if it were me, what would I probably say? Basically. And basically, I have a tendency of sometimes inviting myself to stuff, so... It's a bad habit. It's kind of like not when I'm not antisocial. <laughs> I want to be social. At no matter the cost, and sadly. It's one of the character traits about myself I do not like, but I know it happens at times. Anywho. Thanks, Ray. All right, then. No, no time like the present. Let's go. He's so optimistic. I love it. Oh, hello, Mr. Onyx. Oh, we went to the forest anyway. Well, I guess it's a good place to train on Onyx because Onyx is our weak to grass Pokemon, so if he gets strong... Well... But Onyx only have one type of evolution, and that's required a special stone or item for that. And I don't know if that's implemented in this game. Probably is with all the generations that are probably... Is it before or after black and white Onyx's extra evolution gets added on? I cannot remember. Anyway. I'm glad you knew this place. You're a lifesaver. I didn't say anything about this forest, but I guess we were just wandering around and go like, Hey, by the way, there is, um, there's a forest over there. Onyx is bigger than both Pokemon, after all. Yeah, he's a, he, he's a big boy, that's for sure. He, he's truly a big boy. It can be pretty difficult for us to train unless we're out, outside or in a gym. Yeah. Oh, interesting! I'm glad we found this place then, Onyx. Oh, I would actually say the last one. I'm glad we found it then. Yay! Oh, it looks like you were gonna eat me. <laughs> like, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Onyx seems happy. He must really like this place. <laughs> Onyx has been my partner for a long time. Yeah, since the first generation. That's over 10 years. Oh man, I feel old now. 
<laughs> Again, I feel like an old lassie. <laughs> anyway. So, it's my duty as his trainer to give him a space where we can move around freely. Yeah. That's... That's kind of like a good pet owner. Like, you, you find a good space or at least you, you make it comfortable for your quote-unquote Pokemon slash paint kind of thing. <laughs> well, in Pokemon it's basically your partner, but I kind of feel the same when you have a pet, like give them the best opportunities that they can get in, um, in the live situations you're in. But now, it's about time we got to training. Okay. You're going to train too? But training is for Pokemon! <laughs> no, no, no. Pokemon training is not only for Pokemon because they have to be able to listen to your commands and for that you have to be strong too and have all the badges. All the gym badges on your hands because else they become unrulable. If you have not played the first game or some of the other games that is, there is a level cap to many of the Pokemons when, or to the Pokemons when you play the games. Or at least that in the older generations, I have not actually paid attention to it in the newer ones. <laughs> yeah! I want to make sure that I'm completely in sync with Linux doing all battles. In oh, Yosh! <laughs> it's Yosh face. <laughs> By training and working out with Onyx. <laughs> I, I naturally get to see what he's good at and bad at, how he fights, and what his abilities are. That tells me how the best... That tells me how to best use him in a battle. Ah. He makes sure to have his optimal safeness. Like, that, that's a really good way of thinking because it's both competitive but also safe for the Pokemon because of course, you would not put your Pokemon in a bad situation unless you were a very crappy trainer. <laughs> it's because I do this that Onyx and I have won countless of Pokemon battles. Cool. Do you think I can get ten? To <laughs> do you think you can? I <laughs> you do you think I can get stronger too, Senpai? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I can be more like you? Well, we have a Pikachu, so... Not really an Onyx thing, but the mentality we probably already have. But, let's see here. Which one would I probably... Actually, I would not say in either of these. I was going like, oh great, good on you, mate! That's probably what I would have said. But which one is most like this? I guess that's, do you think I could be more like you? <laughs> of course! As your personal coach, I guarantee it. Wait, are you Brock? THE Brock? Oh, it's hikers! They have, ah, oh, it's hikers from Mount Moon! Or at least it looks like their original design anyway. That's right. I'm the rock solid Pokemon trainer Brock. He looks so. I am. I'm. 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 I'm so proud of myself. Hmm. And, uh. Can I help you? <laughs> we became rock type Pokemon trainers after being inspired, inspired by you. Yeah, many hikers actually do have Deer Juice or Onyx at least in the first generation of games. Of the games. Oh, they're Brock fans! I see! Brock, please let us train with you! Aww, that's so sweet. Oh, that's definitely flattering. Then, Metarita, why don't we try out what we were been talking about earlier? I am sure it would be a good training for these fellas too. Oh look, one of them is going like, oh you! The one behind the first one is kind of like, oh you! <laughs> His beard. Oh, they look so like, oh yeah, we are going, we are really just excited for this. Oh, cool. 
Okay, I'll do my best. Let's give us it. Let's give it a shot. I will do my best. Because I'm slightly insecure like that. <laughs> uh, dot dot dot. Oh! No battle? Really? Mm, I had hoped for a battle. <laughs> oh, well, sees. Ugh, I can't feel my arms. <laughs> I can already say that, <laughs> that one is me. <laughs> I didn't have to read the other one. The other one, the first one matched me perfectly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those hikers look tired, but satisfied too. Oh, it's so good. It's so lovely. Let's see. Thank you. What, what do we thank him for? He really helped me out. I would probably say that one because I don't know what we are thanking him for. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I meant to work out myself. Mm. You know, you really have a good sense for Pokemon battles, Rita. Yeah, if I was allowed to see it. Oh. You're definitely destined to become a great trainer in the future. Aww. <laughs> one, I want to be there when that happens. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making me blush. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> um, you are overestimating me. I I like this one. Oh, stop it! <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Can I answer? Even though I probably I would probably answer that. You know, I don't like. I'm not very good with flattering or when people give me some compliments at all. <laughs> I really have a hard time with that. Um. <laughs> well, I was most fun when you have a lofty goals, right? Yeah, probably. Take me, for instance. I have trainers that know me now for sure. But at but a point in time, I was a rookie just like you. That's true. From there, I focused on experimenting as many things as possible, like that training. <laughs> and after a long time of doing that, I became a gym leader. Well, yes and no. If, if, if we, like, the, the only Pokemon series I've actually watched the anime of was, um, was the first, um, Kanto region, uh, series. And, um, as far as I remember of that was he um, he was the oldest son of the previous gym leader and I can't remember if he the father passed away or if he went on a travel and then Brock was next in line so he automatically became the gym leader and he had a lot of little brothers as well that he had to take care of as far as I remember actually that, that was the thing um, I have to check up on that because that was, I believe that was actually the thing. So I know that you can do the same, Ray. Aww. Mm. The workout we did today was strictly what I developed with Onyx. If that workout and training session can inspire you, that will make me happy. Aww. <clears throat> Onyx is cheering on you too. Aww. Again, I would say, like, thanks, I will do my best. Well, I will do what I can. I will always do my best. No matter what people ask me of, education-wise, work-wise, everything, I will do my best. In my capabilities that I can to that certain point and then try to stretch myself as well. Yeah, that's the spirit! If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Oh, that was a nice little chapter. And we got 10 gems, nice. But it's interesting there's like continuously 
uh, small things that you can do, and seemingly so, there's not more we can do with Brock this time around. I thought there would be more, but maybe it develops over time when you also play the main story. Well then, that's fascinating. Oh, click, click, you checked off Brock. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, okay. Well, actually, with that, I actually think I'll be ending off here. Because we got a little further with knowing Brock and... We will probably continue on with the main story next time. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.